Number 10. Code of Princess EX. This is an enhanced remaster of a 3DS RPG I didn't include in previous videos. It's been released also on PC, by the way. It's an action RPG with some of the guys who worked on Guardian Heroes on the Sega Saturn. Quite challenging, but very fun to play, still following the technical beat-em-up elements of said game. This Switch version is the definitive one, so I just had to make room for it in 2018. Number 9. Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom A rather different approach to this new series, the second entry was more of a true action RPG while the real-time formula was gone. It also took a more serious political approach with building a kingdom and recruiting characters, but still maintaining its light nature charms. Overall a beautiful game, and in this humble man's opinion, better than the first. Number 8. Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux An enhanced port of the original Nightmare on the DS, rebalanced difficulty, expansive story, extra content including a new female character and a new dungeon. That alone is worth investing your time once again in this excellent game. And if you haven't, well, this is the best version there is to play it. Number 7. Lost Sphere Upon succeeding in the market with I Am Setsuna, Tokyo RPG Factory got support from Square Enix once again to develop a new game. Lost Sphere was the result. It took the beautiful musical and graphical influences from its predecessor, as well as its melancholic story and charming environment. Once more we meet a battle system played in turns, but with its original perks that made it all the more fun. Number 6. The Alliance Alive I've covered this lovely hidden gem on the 3DS quite a few times here, just like Lost Sphere. With the original Suicoden creator on board, company Cattle Call developed this turn-based RPG, one with a combat system that takes influence from the ancient saga series, including a different leveling feature. A diverse group of allies awaits you in this dystopian world with both science fiction and medieval fantasy elements. Number 5. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 – Torna – The Golden Country At first it was known as simply an expansion pack, until Monolith and Nintendo told the world it was its own game, an official prequel with a great story and a slightly more mature cast of characters, of course with several appearances by some of the warriors and blades from the original game. I like this one better than it, actually, and I think it's one of the best JRPGs of 2018. Number 4. Valkyria Chronicles 4 So after my beloved spin-off Valkyria Revolution was poorly received, Sega immediately worked on the true fourth main entry. In terms of gameplay and graphics, it was almost identical to the first game. However, it was still beautiful and shockingly addictive. Great story once again, interesting characters and now with the secondary cast finally playing a more important role. Number 3. Radiant Historia – Perfect Chronology Unlike Strange Journey, this isn't an enhanced port, but rather a full remake, with new character design, artwork, expanded side quests, a new character deeply connected with the story… Yep, it became almost like a new game to play. 
With also rebalanced challenge and improved gameplay mechanics, it's no wonder they decided to call it Perfect Chronology, a totally fitting name for such a masterpiece. Number 2. Octopath Traveler Yet another incredibly amazing title taking influence from the Saga series. Hard to believe it was developed by the same people who created Tenchu and the Akiba games. They absolutely nailed it with this enormously beautiful game, my current obsession I confess. Yes, it's a big grind fest, but with that battle system, man, how can you even resist? Definitely one of the best JRPGs of 2018. Number 1. Dragon Quest XI This one needs no introduction. You knew it was going to be the king of this year. The game that completely changed my mind on the Dragon Quest series. I became a huge fan of this astonishing wonder because the more I played, the more amazed I felt. While the previous three games easily hold a candle to it, there's still no way they can surpass this new colossus in the history of JRPGs. Another overly fantastic year, as good as 2017. So many great JRPGs here that will go on to become all-time classics forever. What a good time to be alive as an RP gamer. One more year awaits us before the end of yet another decade. So let's meet once again in 2019.